Apple is one of the largest tech companies, if not the largest tech company in the world right now. They generate over $200 billion a year just on iPhones and over $300 billion a year on all the other products. Wow, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but why is it that people keep buying their tech when you have choices like Google, Samsung, Intel, Dell, and all these other amazing tech companies as well? I may have an insight into this because now I own the trifecta. I own an iPhone, AirPods Pro, and a MacBook. And my last three YouTube videos have been about those three products. So let's dive right into it. Hi, my name is Luigi. Welcome back to another video. I believe there are three reasons why people choose Apple over any other tech company. The first reason has got to be design. The design on all Apple products, no matter whether you're going for a smartphone, a laptop, or a desktop computer, the design is almost identical. It's all very minimal with very little color. And the colors that you get are very minimal and kind of like in the pale side of things. They kind of design with the idea of getting them to look great in your house regardless of the rooms that you're in or regardless of the positionings they might be in. They just kind of seem to be built and designed with a purpose to look like a piece of furniture and not like a piece of tech. But I think that's one of the main reasons why people choose Apple products. They just look really good and very minimal. And nowadays that seems to be a aesthetic that a lot of people are gearing towards for their houses. They go for more toned down colors and they go for more toned down designs, more boxy designs. And a lot of the colors that Apple chooses for the products are very toned down and very neutral. If you get any colors, they're very toned down, very pale, and they're just kind of meant to be fitted in and around the kitchen or around an office in your house or around your bedroom. And if you're looking into the Pro lineup on any Apple product, they're all silver and space gray, which makes the products look great, but also look futuristic and professional as well which I believe might be one of the reasons why a lot of people choose them and they just look great if you put your laptop down on the kitchen table or in a coffee table they don't look out of place it feels like it was meant to be there all the time and I think that's one of the main reasons why people choose any Apple product over any other piece of tech is because of the design and their color selection because again you probably want a piece of tech that you will enjoy looking at it every single day if you're going to be using it on a daily basis you don't want something that looks awful even though it has the best specs in the world you still want it to look great when you take it out in a coffee shop or when you have it at home when you have someone visiting you this next one is very subjective but i think this one might be the second biggest reason why people choose Apple products, and that is ease of use. This is very subjective. If you're into an Android, then you might want to skip this part. But I believe that Apple products are quite easy to use. Yes, if you use Android or if you use Windows for you, your whole life, it will get tough to get into it and it will take some readjusting to do. But for someone that doesn't know anything about tech and doesn't really care about the specs, or customization or doesn't really care anything else other than booting up the laptop, opening the browser and just browsing through the internet or watching a video. Macs, iPhones, iMacs, all the products with Apple, at least in the terms of smartphones and laptops, they're very easy to use. All you have to do is just turn it on and it's very self-explanatory. I do love my Android. I have an Android phone right here to read up my script and I do love it. But sometimes having too many choices when it comes to customization and other things like changing colors and all the different things that Android provides you are just a little bit too much choice. And again, if you're not into tech like us or like me, it might seem a little bit overwhelming if you have an Android phone with too much customization, which I think is why people buy iPhones, because again, that was the first phone and it will take them zero time to get used to it. iPhone in terms of functionality and the iOS in terms of usability has not changed that much and it's pretty much still the same. The apps all look pretty similar in the terms of icons. For, for someone that's in the latest stages in life, it's pretty easy to recognize going from an iPhone 10 to an iPhone 14 Pro or an iPhone 14. It'll still be the same experience that they all love. And we also have to think that all tech enthusiasts are not the biggest market out there. And the iPhone is 
marketed very very well to those that are just looking for a phone that takes great pictures and is very easy to use and they market the hell out of it and they market it pretty well which I think is why a lot of people tend to go for the iPhone because of familiarity and because of how easy it is to use regardless of whether you're going from an iPhone from 10 years ago to the iPhone today because the functionalities and overall ease of use is still very similar and this last one is probably the one that keeps you around and keeps you wanting to buy more Apple products because it certainly has made me want to buy more Apple products and that's the Apple ecosystem. The first two reasons are where they get you as a first time customer. The design, they very seem appealing to those looking to buy a new phone or a new MacBook or a new pair of headphones. Then the ease of use, they kind of lure you in a little bit more, but then the ecosystem is where they get you and they lock you in into that ecosystem. Because for the longest time, the only piece of Apple tech that I owned was my laptop, my MacBook Pro 2018. I've had it for five years, or I had it for four years before I bought my second Apple product. And that was the phone that I'm recording on right now, which is the iPhone 14 Pro. And then shortly after that, I bought the AirPods Pro second generation. And now I really understand the Apple ecosystem. It is, um, to say the least, an incredible ecosystem. And the more I use it, the more I understand why people get so caught up in the ecosystem and why it's so hard to come out of it after you've spent and invest so much money in all the Apple products, just because the Apple ecosystem works incredibly well and 90% of the time is flawless. Like for example, AirDrop, if you are a solo entrepreneur or if you run your own business and you have emails on your laptop and emails on your phone or you tend to take notes on your phone and then send them to your laptop whether you're working on your laptop and then you have to go off and then carry on with doing the work on your phone this is where the apple ecosystem comes into play if you are that kind of person this is perfect because you can be doing something on your laptop turn off your laptop and then just pick up your phone and carry on from when you left off with no problem and almost zero latency. Same goes the other way around. You can be taking pictures with your phone, maybe shooting content with your phone like I'm doing right now, or maybe you're writing content for your Instagram post. And then you can easily just send that over to your laptop and in seconds it will arrive and it will just instantly sync to your phone. And then all the pictures that you have, if you have pictures on your phone that you took when you were out, instead of having to plug in your phone to your laptop, you can just airdrop it into your MacBook. And that's where the Apple ecosystem offers you. Just a flawless file transfer. And obviously you can do this through all your laptops. So if you have stuff on your iPads, then you can send it over to your iPhone, then send it over from your iPhone to your MacBook, or you can go from the MacBook straight to the iPad. It makes it so easy to file transfer and move things around, which is required a lot if you run a business or if you run anything, any projects that you wanna be running. It's just so easy to be having things on your phone and then send them to your laptop so quickly. But then secondly is the compatibility of everything. If you're using AirPods or AirPods Pro or obviously the AirPods Max, then you can connect them to all of your devices. First of all, to connect any Apple device to another Apple device, for example, connecting your AirPods Pro to your iPhone or your MacBook, all you really have to do is just open the AirPods, that's it. Open the case and they instantly paired up with your iPhone or your MacBook. It takes close to zero seconds. It, that's how fast it is. You don't have to faff around with having to press the button. I've never had any issues with it. When you open it, then they connect right away. You don't have to wait for the connection to kind of like find them or anything. It's almost instantly. And that's something that I've loved. You can connect them to multiple of your Mac OS or iOS devices. So I usually have my AirPods Pro connected to my iPhone. I'm a MacBook and then you can switch with a click of a button. And going back to the main reason, I can completely understand now the Apple ecosystem because now that I've owned three different Apple products, it definitely made me think of getting more to the point that I really want to get an Apple Watch. Just for review sake, just because I know I've said it in the past before that I'm not getting any smart watches, at least not for full-time use, because I'm still not wearing one and I'm 
gone back to using a regular watch, which I'm enjoying thoroughly. Again, deviating from that point. Back to our Apple ecosystem. It is the one that definitely keeps you in, keeps you locked in into that system. If you have multiple HomePods around your house, if you have MacBooks around your house, if you have an iMac, an iPhone, AirPods Pro, it's just so easy to go from one thing to another. So you can be outside for a walk and listening to music on your AirPods Pro. And then once you get back, you can disconnect your AirPods Pro and the music will start playing on your HomePods. And it's just this seamlessly connection across all the products. And it makes the ecosystem absolutely enjoyable to use. And the ecosystem is not really the reason why they bring you in, but it's definitely the reason why most people stay around Apple technology because it's so good and it works so well across all different devices. And it's very hard just to go into another ecosystem or into going outside of the Apple ecosystem because sometimes you don't get any sort of ecosystem. You just have Bluetooth devices connected to each other, which this is basically what it is. All the Apple devices will be connected through Bluetooth almost but they have that ecosystem where everything brings it together and it almost feels like they were meant for each other instead of being Bluetooth devices connecting to each other regardless of the manufacturer. And that is the three reasons why I think people buy Apple products. If you enjoyed this video, please like this video and a sub to the channel will be great. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the very next video. See ya, bye. Bye, bye.